Hello Art Beaters, Becky here for ArtBeads.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm going to be sharing some rainbow jewelry inspiration. We've got lots of pretty beads and more that are perfect for rainbow style and I've also got some wonderful jewelry tutorials from our design studio to inspire you as well. And I'll be showing you a wonderful earring demonstration um, to show you how to add prestige crystals in rainbow colors to an earring design. So let's dive in. So we've got lots of great rainbow inspiration in our design studio at artbeats.com. I did want to talk about our chakra stone strands. These are gemstone strands from Dakota Stones, and they include like every color of the rainbow on one strand. So that's a really fun way um, to get those rainbow colors and also try out um, different gemstones all in one strand. Um, really beautiful. So I love the chakra strands from Dakota Stones. They're available in different sizes and bead shapes. I use some of the smaller sizes in this memory wire bracelet, and it makes it really easy. You can just string them on in a color blocked pattern to go for that rainbow look. Or you can separate them out and use them in different pieces, but I really do like the rainbow look there. Um, TerraCast also has these wonderful charm sets. They're chakra charm, charm sets with um, rainbow crystals decorating each little charm. And I just used those here on this leather cord bracelet. They're so pretty uh, all together. So I thought that was a really fun way uh, to showcase those Tierra cast charms with those rainbow colors. And I just used a little uh, sliding uh, closure, this little grommet closure on the end for an adjustable leather bracelet. And you just have to knot the ends and you're good to go. So super cute. Love how that turned out with all those rainbow colors. We also have rainbow silk ribbon, which I thought was really fun. Um, this hand-dyed silk ribbon features uh, variegated colors that go through all of the shades of the rainbow. So that's really beautiful. I love that too. Um, and then Prestige Crystal, we have some really fun options. Uh, we've got Vitriol Medium is actually a really great rainbow color because it has all those beautiful rainbow colors within the crystal. So I definitely wanted to highlight that. And then um, this is a lot darker on camera than it is in person, but it's called Crystal Rainbow Dark. And it just has, it's kind of like an oil slick with all those rainbow colors with a metallic sheen. You can kind of see it glinting there, but that's a really pretty color too if you want a darker rainbow energy in your in your designs so really pretty those are some fun colors from prestige um, you can also just try out prestige colors that are individual rainbow colors so what i'm going to be working with today for our earring demo is light siam topaz light topaz emerald sapphire and tanzanite those are really good colors to make um, rainbow style in your jewelry Got a couple other options from Dakota Stones for gemstone rainbow style. Mixed Impression Jasper, Mardi Gras Jasper, as it's also called, is really great for some fun rainbow style. It's just got all kinds of colors in there. It's a really fun um, stone that brings a lot of playful color to your jewelry design. So that's a good rainbow option. Um, and their Druzies, too, sometimes have beautiful rainbow color. This one matches that crystal rainbow dark really nicely. So the Druzy with this kind of rainbow metallic finish is a great option for rainbow style. I could look at that all day. It's so pretty. Oh, love that. And then of course you can also use um, check glass beads and seed beads to make your rainbow style. These are just fire polished beads um, in a Russian spiral um, with just color blocked rainbow colors. It looks so good with that Russian spiral stitch. Really beautiful. So I love that rainbow ombre look. Hi Mary, good to see you. So really pretty. Um, great neon colors, too, for some rainbow style. This one's very nostalgic, very summery, um, super cute. And this is a loomed piece, actually, which is really fun. 
And then this is another loomed piece with more rainbow color in a fun like chevron stripe pattern that has two different colors on each side. I think that's really clever. Um, so that's a fun little rainbow piece as well. The rainbow colors are so much fun. You can take them in so many different directions. It's just a lot of fun to play around with all those fun rainbow colors. And we have a lot of options for you for all your rainbow style. So definitely check those out. I've got these all linked in the video description. I made you guys a little shopping page for all the rainbow jewelry tutorials and uh, beads and more that we have at artbeads.com. So don't miss that. We've got lots of fun rainbow stuff. Um, and then let's make some earrings today. So these are inspired by the prestige crystal earrings that I showed you earlier. I have a bit of different, a different, um, tiara cast components. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this lovely curved link. I thought that was fun because if you turn it this way, it kind of has a rainbow shape, right? And it's got those holes on the edge that make it really easy to just link everything up with. I was toying around with hanging it like this with these beads dripping down with the rainbow colors beneath, but I kind of like it this way. Um, I think that'll be a really fun look and then have those. Yeah, I like that better. But what's fun about this is you could make this earring with the component curved this way. I think it'd be fun to do the second earring with the component curved the other way for like an asymmetrical look. I thought that would be really fun. Um, so that's something you could do or you could do them both uh, curved the same way. So how I'm going to start I'm going to actually put these uh, littler bicones on an eye pin. I've got four millimeter bicones here at the top in light cyan, topaz, light topaz, emerald, sapphire, and tanzanite. So those are the four millimeter bicones. Oh, Kim, love the rainbow since a child. It reminds me of Noah, the flood, and God's promise to us. That's beautiful, Kim. Wonderful. Yeah. Rainbows have a lot of different meanings to a lot of different people, and they're just gorgeous no matter matter what. So inspiring. So many beautiful colors. Um, they're really fun. I like adding rainbow colors to jewelry. They make cute little just eye-catching accessories. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to load these up on a eye pin. So red, orange, and yellow on one, and then purple, blue, and green on the other. Like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple loop at the top of those beads and then attach them to the link we have here and then attach them to the ear wire. So I'm going to need some chain nose pliers. I'm just going to bend that at a 90 degree angle right on top of my beads, like so. And then take my round nose pliers. finish the loop. Beautiful. And then I just need cutters. All right. And we want to make sure that this is nice and closed. There we go. And do the same for this one. So bend at a 90 degree angle. And then take our round nose pliers and bend that wire over the round nose, loop around, and cut off any excess. There we go. Super cute. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that. Yeah, the crystals really are gorgeous. We love the prestige crystal because they really are beautiful, sparkling colors that are really going to stand out in your designs. And I'm wondering if I want to add a jump ring here. I might want to. So let's do that. Some tiara cast jump rings here to go with my components. And the proper way to open a jump ring is to wiggle the two sides. Yeah, that's going to be super helpful in attaching those. 
In the original project um, with the Lotus links, I believe that those beaded links are just attached straight to the Lotus because it has kind of thinner, a thinner frame. It's more like cutout frame, um, but this is a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna add jump rings so it's easier to connect my beaded links. All right, now we should be in business. And you will want to pay attention to the placement. I think in the original piece, let me take a look again online. Yeah, so you want the um, you want the yellow at the top connecting to the ear wire and the red connecting to the link. So that's what I'm going to do here. Yeah, I love these crystals. They're so, so pretty. So the red is going to be attached to the link because if you think about it, it's kind of going in rainbow color order, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So that's how we're going to attach. So we'll want the purple connected to the link here. So it's at the end of the rainbow. There we go. So cute already. And then I'm going to open up the loop of the ear wire and attach it that way. So just slide this one on and then slide the other one on. Look, even that, just like that would be so, so cute. I'm loving that. But we're gonna add those little drops for even more rainbow color because that's gonna be really, really fun. Okay, so the in the original piece, um, the big lotus link had smaller lotus charms dangling off of it, and then the crystals were dangled off of those lotus charms. I liked the shape of this little tiara cast bead because it kind of has that raindrop shape, which I thought would be a nice complement to our rainbow colors and rainbow shaped link that we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on an eye pin and then make a loop at the top of the bead and attach it here. And then I'm going to dangle those little crystals off of the loop at the bottom of the eye pin. And I might even uh, do a wrapped loop at the top of this so the bead stays put and I'm definitely going to use a jump ring to attach again. So similar to a simple loop, but um, you put your chain nose pliers at the top of your bead and then fold your wire over the top of the chain nose pliers. Make a loop in a similar fashion with your round nose pliers, but you're not trimming the excess. Um, before you do that, you're going to coil or wrap your wire around the stem of the eye pin to make a nice tight little coil at the top of the bead and that's going to keep it securely in place. It's not really going to move, which is great. There we go. And I'm going to trim my wire here and tuck that little tail in, make sure it looks nice and neat. There we go. So we've got a wrap loop at the top of that wonderful teardrop shape. And then I'm going to attach it to the second loop or second hole in the uh, in my little link there using another jump ring. Hey. And let's just do that again on this guy. And there's a third, there's a third uh, loop in the center. You could, uh, you could do three dangles if you so desire. That might be kind of fun. Making another wrapped loop. Sometimes you can use your fingers. I like to use my chain nose pliers because it just makes a tighter coil most of the time. There 
we go and then we'll trim that. And tuck the end and then attach with a jump ring. My jump rings are kind of linked together, so I have to open them just to get them uh, just to get them apart. So we'll open that, put it on there, and then put this on the second hole of our little link here, and then close the jump ring. There we go. This is so cute. I think this would be cute too um, if you put a third one there and just had those on there. That would be really cute. There's a lot of different ways you could um, take this. Oh my gosh, Deborah, I'm left handed and I have a hard time with loops. So, one of my best friends is left handed. I need to teach her how to do these loops and then we got to get her good at it so we can film her so we can have some left-handed content because i i'm sure that it's very different from how right-handed people do it and i wish i wish i had the dexterity to do it with my left hand maybe i should try but i feel like i would struggle so my other thought was get my friend to do it but <laughs> i'd have to put her to work to make her a lot of um a lot of uh, loops before we could get her going on that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these rainbow colors to a head pin to dangle from the loop at the bottom of um, at the bottom of these little teardrops. So what I'm going to do, I could probably make uh, wrapped loops. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So the beads aren't as loosey goosey on the head pin. So again, I bent my wire at a right angle over my chain nose pliers, taking my round nose pliers and bending the wire over that round nose, forming the loop. And we have videos and step-by-step -step instructions for how to make simple and wrapped loops on our website if you need further help. We've got lots of great info for that. I'm just gonna coil that wire around. There we go. And then we're gonna trim. Whee! Always be careful when trimming your wire. <laughs> and tuck the end in a little. There we go. Do another one for the orange. And I'm using um I'm using six millimeter bicones and rounds. The original project I see is, uses six millimeter rounds. You could choose whichever shape you want. You could mix it up like I did. Um, they look really pretty all together. Coiling that wire around. And I'm kind of like going a little bit over the top of the bead because I kind of like the look of that. It's kind of cute. Uh, yeah, very long head pin. So um, these are just the head pins that I have. We do have shorter head pins. You could use shorter ones so you don't have as much waste, but the, um, the excess is actually long enough. You could make a beaded link, make a simple loop on one end, add a bead, make a simple loop. Um, so yeah, don't, you don't have to get rid of your excess wire. It can be used in different ways, but actually with this head pin, my wrapped loops are actually taking up quite a bit of the wire. So I don't have that too much excess going on, but you could use shorter for sure. especially if you know you're just making short little, short little dangles. All right, and then we've got the yellow and then we'll be ready to attach this little dangle trio to our teardrop bead there. Thanks, Jen. All right, so we're gonna fold our wire over the top of the chain nose at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna pick up our round nose pliers, fold the wire over, position the pliers out of the way so we can complete the coil. 
and then wrap that excess wire around the stem that we have created for a nice look and a really secure fold. And I've been kind of going over the top of the beads because it's fun. <laughs> you could do a messy wrapped loop too where it just kind of keeps going over the top of the bead. There we go. Okay. So now we've got those three little dangles there. And we want to make sure that, yeah, so we want our red, orange, and yellow to be on the same side. I'm actually I'm going to, so my earring is kind of laying like sideways. So if you were to wear it, it would be like to the side. We don't want that. You could add a jump ring here. I'm going to try and like adjust the ear wire so it's positioned the right way. You can kind of hold the loop with your chinos pliers and then push the ear wire the way you want. Um, that's better. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I want the red, orange, and yellow to be on the same side as the top beads. So we're going to want it on this one and I'm going to open this up carefully. Okay. We're going to add red, orange, yellow. And you could do this step before adding this eye pin to the teardrop bead um, if you felt like it. Just depends on what order you like to go. I often like build from the top down or up or down and then up like sequential. There, that's cute. Really cute. And then we just need to add the uh, green, blue, and purple beads to this side. So let's make more wrapped loops, shall we? Yes, these are six millimeter beads here. Go. Got a nice little wrap loop at the top of that round. Give it a trim. Tuck the trimmed end in. Golden. And then we'll do the blue. Yeah, so I just alternated between bicones and rounds for these six millimeter dangles, but you could use all bicones or all rounds. These are really cute. I like how these turned out. Again, this is um, a design from Prestige Crystal um, that you can find on our website, artbeats.com. It's called Rainbow Waterfall Earrings. And the original project used um, the really cool Lotus links and Lotus charms. Uh, but I just switched out the components for ones that I had here at our office. Um, and I think that's fun. It, it kind of changes the look up. So definitely have fun, play around with um, maybe something that looks more your style or something you might already have on hand. Um, it's always fun to play around with designs uh, as inspiration. So that's what I'm doing here today trimming the wire. Yay, I'm so glad you love this design. So yeah, it is available in our design studio um, with instructions and a supplies list so you can recreate it for yourself. And last but not least, our little purple bead. Our final wrapped loop. Coil, coil, coil. There we go. So cute. 
So all we have to do now is open up our little loop there at the bottom of this bead, do green, blue, purple, and then close it back up. And you could also use a jump ring here if you don't want to mess with that loop at the bottom. There we go. Oh, this turned out so cute. So now we've got some cute little rainbow waterfall earrings. Oh, these turned out really sweet. I like these a lot. So super cute. Again, if you made the second pair, you could do it with the, uh, the little rainbow link face with the curve up and just attach here and here and then do the drops down here. That would be really cute. Um, yes, seems like I need to pay a visit to artbeads.com. So many pretty items. Yes, lots of pretty items. We've got this beautiful collection of rainbow items um, and every other color you could dream up. We have lots of choices, so definitely pay us a visit. And we also have wonderful tutorials like the one I demoed here today um, with complete instructions and a supplies list. Yeah, I think this turned out really cute. So super sweet little rainbow ear earrings to inspire you on this June Thursday. Um, really sweet. I really like how those turned out and they would have a lot of fun movement when you wear them. Um, so super sweet. I think earrings are a great way to add some uh, rainbow color to your style. I also really love this ribbon. Um, what's great about this ribbon is you could just wrap it around your wrist and then tie it and that's a beautiful bracelet in and of itself. But you could also maybe put some large hole beads on there, um, make another little dangle with these pretty prestige crystals and slide that on. There's all kinds of different things you can do with that and of course we have so many beautiful options uh, in beads for rainbow rainbow colors and I've got those all linked in the video description for you to shop. All right, very cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and inspiring. Please let me know if you have any questions. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. And as always, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.